video we made, we went to the junkyard, didn't really explain much. We were basically trying to find this front frame horn that had been mangled in a car accident. So this video is going to be mainly putting this together, welding it up. Key idea with this is making sure you're right in, out, up, down, and your brace for your strut rod is in the right spot. And then if you look, I cut it in like kind of a puzzle piece over here so it gives you kind of a more area to weld on and makes it a little bit stronger. Helps things fit together like a puzzle piece. So that's where we're at. This is a 1970 Buick Riviera. This is a 1970 Riviera project. Signs. Pick this thing up for a thousand bucks. Interior is mint. Headliner is still perfect. shifter all right got the piece we needed we got the new cup holder don't look like much but Put in and weld it in, braced up. And Great. Like a straight car again. Straight car. that back in there get rid of this caca sweet and Lucy's gonna do it all yep Lucy's she's doing it she's the main fabricator <laughs> Let's 
we have this pulled straight out of our way. Clean up these edges and we should be good. And we need to cut that other piece off. All the little kids coming home from school. Mm. Oh. Cut that piece out of there. And then when we flip the disc over to the grinding pad, we'll do all our cleanup shit. And then we might be able to tack something together. Before. Just started yesterday. Yesterday I couldn't even spell welder, and today I are one. <laughs> back probably two inches okay, yeah. like this edge right here when we first started was like right here that's why I wrenched it back to there yeah well yeah. that's what I was curious how far you had, had to pull it back down. but yeah look you set this all level where it should right there look how far off this all is yeah look at the height difference there so it was actually crumpled and smashed down like that You could heat that and straighten it and sell that online. <laughs> Get our 170 bucks back. Right. Take it back to the regular table. I didn't need it after all. Came out good though. I'm happy. Not bad for a day's worth of work. No, it looks real good. Alright, so last step after welding all this together. We're going to take the flap wheel, get all this ground down nice and smooth. So you can't see any of the weld. This will be all nice and smooth. And then we're going to coat it with some Pour 15. So, 
Next step is I got a little bit of a crease in the core support I got to fix. And then once I do that, we're going to get the core support put back together, get it up to my work, and steam clean everything so we can paint everything under here.